Meditation is either a self thought or selfless heart level of hearing into the universal song of infinite silence. Silence is the deep no hearing level of meditation as sound merged awareness. Direct release into the silence of inexpressible nirvana as emptiness is spaceful meditation into the heart sound merged condition unfolding the heart mind into its profound sound essence and blissful singing presence perceiving its true source mode of transcendent heart revealed gone reality In the true condition of the sweet singing joy of heart sound presence, beyond all time space phenomena, all self, thought, body, mind, world, and God reality programs completely disappear into heart real joyous silence. Every conceivable and inconceivable manifestation of a change modification or alteration of state or form of light, matter, energy, time or sound vibration, consciousness or awareness relative to anyone and anything is free to be merged into the continuum this unhearable heart fire sound song always is. No one is merely a self-centered mental, emotional, mind or body form. No one is any form of cosmic phenomena. No one is any specific psychophysical, causal, psychic, etheric, spiritual or transcended level of data, impression, sense or impulse for or with any purpose, function or cause. All such forms arise of themselves as themselves spontaneously having no ultimate purposes of their own. The source and goal of all such phenomena is infinite pureness. However, the relative karmic source point of all such transient phenomena of hearing, seeing, smelling, touching, knowing or being is the non-existing and always relatively appearing individualized self as the perceiver or perceiving being assuming karmic oneness with its apparent physical self-based body-mind which functions as the ghost. Therefore, First see beyond appearances, and then hear into true meaning. This is the first step in hearing into the level of clear seeing, and beyond that, into true direct hearing. This is the practice of hearing and seeing into spiritual earfulness, and resting fully in the samadhic deep meditative song of serene being, hearing into and simply feeling the sweet, deep, peaceful being of hearing fullness, transcending hearfulness into the direct perception of the zero heartful space of timelessness, energylessness, bodylessness, and spacelessness with every sound as soundless yet radiantly pure silence. <clears throat> Hearing beyond all seeing and appearances and forms as separate things, entities and worlds 
One accesses earful isness, hearing as already gone, penetrating into that deepest hearing who hears and knows super silence as spiritually created power beyond being and non-being, existence and non-existence, karmic body of appearance and the divine body of no appearance. Such non-conceptual, non-phenomenal gone and deeply heart-melting hearing from the core of pure awareness awakens true knowing, liberated doing and transcendent being. This intuitive burn into what is truly real of itself alone hears, knows and realizes beyond all words, sounds, lights, ideas, emotions, impulses, urges, desires, thoughts, meanings, understandings, and realizations. As such, the heart is revealed as it is, completely and only gone. Phew. Mm. Why or for whom did you write the first Guitar Patriarch? Any and all spiritual practitioners that have an ear for this music uh, want to understand where the music I play is coming from. See? And what it should indicate is that it's coming from a life of meditation practice. And maybe not conventional meditation, maybe along those lines really about sound meditation. Okay. Sound meditation is silence meditation. Yeah. Yeah. Silence meditation is no being meditation. Yeah. No being meditation is what basically is. Yeah. As it is. And just that. Mm -hmm. And so this would indicate to some people that even though I may have been a public figure to some degree, or maybe a small degree, at least regarding videos and public performances, uh, my life is really about practice. Mm. I've been pulled into that. See, I was caught by the practice train. See, I sort of swept away in its wake. See, and I don't mean the cold train. I mean the spiritual practice train. Mm-hmm. Uh, Um, <clears throat> what is your relationship to this knowledge? There is no relationship to this knowledge. It's something which once you practice becomes obvious to you and it finds its own language. Let it find its own language. This is a language that it found in me, so to speak. See? And so therefore it is what it is and appears the way it appears. Which may not be conventional language, but it may also not be unconventional language, depending on where you're at in your meditation, in your spiritual practice or self-transcending practice, whatever that means to the individual, not needing to be explained in this moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the first guitar patriarch uh, was kind of spiritually imposed upon me in 2009. Yeah. But it was very clear at that time that it wasn't for an earlier time of my life. It wasn't for that time. It's really for the latter part of my life in terms of my fulfillment. Yeah. Hmm. I wouldn't go as far as saying it's a fulfillment of realization particularly, but I think it's a sharing with friends. So, that some of the things which uh, have been said in the, the ancient and holy Dharma, right, the great Dharma itself, might in fact be true if you practice and you assume a certain sort of path, a noble path right, of kindness, benevolence, compassion, see, uh, loving other people, see, respecting them, 
goodness comes to you. And part of that goodness that comes is the purification of your mind, your physical and mental and emotional karmas. See? In other words, purification of your river of blood karma. See? It falls to the wayside. It gives way to the power of wisdom and the beauty of it, the majesty of it, the greatness of it. Uh, reaching the point where wherever you might be on the mountain, the wisdom uh, comes to you. The wind of wisdom is upon you uh, and it speaks through you, which is, has done in my case. I'm very happy for it. And it will also be the case for many others. Uh, so be ready for the wind of wisdom to fall upon you. Oh, it's you. <laughs>